Hello everybody and welcome back to the Morphine Folio. Previously, what did we do? We played as one of the characters. I think it was Eve. This time, I'm going to play as Fiend. I'm going to do Greedia. I did Greedia recently. I enjoyed it a lot. And I haven't played Fiend in a while. So, why not introduce some pain here? Uh, I'm going to hold R on that. I know that that's maybe a bit scummy. But honestly, HP is... Uh, it's not very useful as this guy. And we just got the same item. Again. Anyways... Because I'm holding R for the question of the day. That's pretty good. For the question of the day, if you could restart or do over something in your life, what would it be? For me, there's, hmm, there's definitely a few options for me. Uh, do I want to go for a key for two bombs? That's probably not a great idea. Uh, we'll take that. Um, there's definitely a few options. I think one option, it, it, this is a difficult one for me because... I definitely, like, didn't do a great job of, of university. Also, I didn't even mention our cutest fella, Blood Puppy. Uh, but I didn't really do a great job at university. Like, I I did okay. I, I, I got my degree. But I definitely could have tried harder. <laughs> and I essentially didn't because, I mean, for one, I kind of, I, I did, uh, for those of you that don't know, I did computer science and games development. And I kind of realized, like, halfway through the degree that eh, it wasn't really what I wanted to do for a career. So I, I won't say I gave up. I definitely still tried, but I didn't, like, put my all into it, which I probably should have done. Um, which is fine, if you if, especially if you decide it's not really something you're going to pursue as a career, then fair enough. Um, but at the same time, I feel like... There's a lot of things, especially with some of my classes that I just stopped going to, that I probably should have gone to. Because <laughs> regardless of whether I was going to use the knowledge in later life, it's still good to have that knowledge. And yeah, I don't know. I, I regret that a little bit and maybe would have redone that. But at the same time, I'm in a really good job now that I really enjoy that my degree got me. Um, so, oh shit, it's Chubby Boy himself. Um, so, in, in that regard, I, I really don't mind. I'm going to, um, oh shit. I didn't expect to find a few folio boss here. Oh, ho, ho, ho. do it to him. You absolute badass. <laughs> Get him. Munch him. Holy. Okay. I kind of forgot that there'd be a possibility of another boss here. That's real bad with the setup we got right now. Whoa, what? Did, did they, like, buff um, our our blood puppy? Because, holy damn, I never knew that he did that, where it, like, sticks onto an enemy. Like, latches. I'm being very cautious here, because I was about to say, if, I, uh, if I'm not cautious, I'll die very quickly. Give me those hearts back. Chunky boy, if you could calm yourself... For a hot minute, I'd be grateful. I'm going to re-roll these, you know. Dude. Oh, you got to be kidding me. All of these are hot, stinky doo-doo. That's good. We'll take that. What the hell's that? Spawns a random object. Okay, that's whatever. Okay, one second. Okay, we're good to go. I just got a message. Um, Yeah. I don't know. I think Fiend is going to be pretty tricky. Oh, go pins, go pins, go. I'm gonna let my boy get the chunkiest he can. Cause I think it's gonna be I think it's gonna behoove us to do so. Oh god, I got hit again. I need to try and use my fireballs a little more uh, correctly, so to say. Come on, chunky boy. Do the thing. Devil deals, I don't think it's really for us. Beautiful. Okay. Let's get out of here. Let's skedaddle skadoodle. And keep our chunky boy powered up. Keep him as beefy as we can. He is our power. He is our savior. He is all things, for he is a chunky boy. Um, Morbid Heart's pretty good for us here. Uh, although we don't get Morbid Hearts, so that's great. Um, Items-wise, what we got in here? Destroy a trinket. Uh, pretty bad shop, honestly. That is a very good haul there. I'm going to... I'm going to just bomb this and hope for the best. No! Chunky boy, what are you doing? You goofer. Yeah, that was terrible. This is an awful run. There is nothing of merit in this run so far, apart from my chunky boy. Everything else is horrible. Also, my character looks so fucked. Right, I'm going to I'm going to let I'm going to let you uh chow down on some boys. Right. 
really. Really? Really? The creep didn't disappear because the wave didn't actually end. Oh, shit. You're going to steal all my chunky boy kills. Not fair. He deserves more. Let him eat it. Don't steal his kills. He needs to grow big. He needs to grow strong. He needs his power. Ow. Stop with all the damn creep, game. At least my buddies are doing like a, a good job of saving me. Killing everything for me. Okay. God, I don't like the way the uh, eye... Whoa! What the hell are you? Is that like a new void portal? Are they have they been edited by Fiend Folio or the reworked first mod? Maybe so. Boy. You need to get far chunkier. Far quicker. He's doing a decent job, but like... There's so much more that he could be doing. I'm not sure if it's just because his kills keep getting stolen. I'm, I'm going to assume that's what it is. I tried to fire at that thing, but it didn't really work. I think I'm just going to save all my money for when I, like, really need it. And just hope that I can get by on my boy. Oh, when the wave ends like that, we do get our fellas back, which is nice. Dude, okay, you're chunky again. Thank you. We needed that. What the hell? <laughs> that was bizarre. He managed to, like, scoop up one of those pits. Right. Latch on to a few folk. There you go. That's what we like to see. Holy! He does the business today. He does the business. It's beautiful. It's always interesting to think of times in your life that you maybe go back and change. It's one of those weird things where it's like, you, you, you maybe think in, in your head, oh, well, I'd like to do this a little differently, or this could be better if I did this. But at the end of the day, if you're happy with your life right now, or if, if there's some at least something in your life that you enjoy right now, that might not be the same if you didn't do it the way that you did it. Um, so changing that could lead to you not really being in the same situation you're in now, which might be something you want or might not. Like, for me, I'm, I'm in the situation I'm in right now, I, I love. I wouldn't change it for the world. Um, okay, Chunky Boy. We've got a stars card here, so we don't need to buy a key. Let's, uh, let's clear our last wave here. You should, you should absolutely demolish these guys. I would hope. Oh my god, he did. He latched with fury. I don't want to accidentally be hitting him. Oh, thank you. Oh, he's full. He's full kilter. Ooh, this is tricky. Um, I'm going to go with Pentacles. I think the chance for uh, Lemmigate and Wisps of various sizes is going to be good. I do not like this with Chunky Boy around. That room scared me. There was a haunted chest there. I really should have played that out. I didn't even see it. I wasn't paying attention. We get the Ash Pit here. The stars align. Planetariums. Definitely super busted. Definitely super busted. They show up way too often. I don't know what's wrong with them. I'm probably just going to uninstall that mod because, yeah, it just doesn't work the way it should. Soul Cleaver. Okay, we can get a lot of Lemmigate and Wisps with that, so... I think that plus, um... Saturnus is pretty good, and I think I'm going to use it right here to gain all the shit we just gained here. Saturnus is going to end up, um... Low lowering our boy's level, which is a little sad. Um, on shopkeepers will drop red hearts and rarely burn hearts instead of coins. Interesting. We do have a reroll machine here. Stop trying to eat the bombs. They're not for you, fat boy. They are not for you. Okay, I don't think Deep Pockets actually does much for us here. Neither does Mysterious Gift. Can you charge, please? Thank you. Get out of here. The D-Infinity is a game break, but I don't really want a game break. I'll be honest. Um, That's pretty good. We'll take it. That's good too, although it's laggy, but... He's not going to stay large for long. We just got to accept that.
He deals the best he can. He does the best he can. And to be fair, he's stayed large for longer than I expected. Pooped out a red heart for us as well. I'm hoping he poops out some fiendish hearts for us as well. I let me get him wisps are gonna die so fast. This is a very bizarre run. Oh my lord. I think I ought to just let him take on everything. Although he does seem rather attracted to me. Like, he doesn't often go for the enemy. He seems to like to go for me first, and then the enemy. I don't think you can do much against these guys, can you? Ah, oh, balls! My boy. My glowing boy. The trail. Oh, what the fuck happened here? Why did all my guys escape? Also, there's a dude throwing out Giga Bombs. We can't be having that. What in the ever-living fuck just killed me? What killed me? Anyways, restart. That run was trash. What on earth killed me then? Uh, two soul hearts plus... Ooh. We might want to see if we can get a trinket prior to picking that up. Let's see if we can get one. There isn't one in the shop, unfortunately, so probably not. Yeah, I don't know what the hell was hitting me there. Holy. That's a big pill. That's a, that's a big old verp. And our character is looking... Quite amazing. So, not as great a start. Health-wise, we are looking awesome. Otherwise, not a great start. Okay, these guys actually place webs down, which is problematic, because they, they are going to be annoying for the entirety of this, uh, this area. Okay, let's try and use our fireballs as much as we can. Actually hitting the fireball into an enemy would be a good start. It might be like a genuinely decent tactic to get hit on purpose to get some of my fiendish folk out there, but I, I don't really know if that's smart. Dude, can you like calm down? Oh my god, the fireballs are so hard to hit. Are these the triple shot ghosts or the flyy roundy ghosts? The flyy roundy ghosts, okay. Man, I'm so bad with the fireballs. These ghosts need to heck off. I'm not sure what, what spawns the fireballs. Is there anything in particular? Come on now. Just go down. There you go. What are these things doing exactly? Doesn't seem like much. We've got a nice mismatch between our HP though, which is good. Something that's quite important for us. Okay, so it spawns a Bernie? What? I was not expecting it to spawn a Bernie. I can say that for sure. Oh, bloody hell. Okay, definitely ain't gonna kill this guy before um, the next set. Next enemy comes in. Next boss, whatever you want to call it. Oh god, yeah, these webs are really problematic. Okay, you're not too bad. You have slightly changed AI, so... I really like the way that this boss has been changed. It's very good. I could try... What I, what I really want to do is try and utilize the Brimstone to deal a bit of damage to Dingle here, but it's, it's not exactly an easy task. Oh, you've got to be kidding me with that. Okay, you're, you're finally dead. My minions, my, my black poop minions here, black poop, black heart min minions are out doing a little bit of business, which is nice. We'll do some good damage. Not amazing damage. They got a crit there, though, which is good. Decent. This is one black heart back. 
Um, seems pretty worthless, but I'll take it. Actually, that was a pretty sizable damage upgrade. Does this guy, does Fiend start with like extra damage multipliers maybe? I don't know. Either way, I'm happy. That was a pretty sizable damage increase. I don't know if the fireballs scale off of our damage at all. I would imagine they do somewhat. I'm not going to worry about that right now, though, because this guy is going down easily without us getting hit a single time. I really like the Dingle Resprite as a, a bag of money. It's really good. The boss Resprites for Greed Murder are just really good in general. There you go. We'll get a Devil Deal here, which we don't really care about. We'll get the hell out of here. Okay, we do actually have to buy a key this time. I'm just hope, I was just about to say, I'm just hoping my shops are better. They're just not. My shops are dog shit. <laughs> I'm getting really bad shops. I need some tears up and things like that. Nice. Celtic Cross. That's not the sort of shit we need. This is not great at all. I'm going to try this out. That's maybe good. I'll also buy this as well. No, I will not. Did I not have six cent left there? What the hell? I thought I had six cent left. Someone check that for me. Ooh, look at these guys' tiny little creep trails. Okay, good. Really don't want to rush in and get hit just for one heart, if possible, because that's going to create a whole host of issues. Because then we're going to leak out all of our fellas. These guys being tiny and running around spawning creep everywhere is not good. We ought to buy some pills, really, to try and make the vert, the, the, the large vert pill a bit more valuable. Little farmer boy. Good. I was hoping to get three for that, but one will do me. Like I said, I don't know, maybe... Let's, let's try this out. Let's get hit on purpose. And try and utilize that to regain some more HP. We got one of these dudes. Don't don't go zipping zapping into other enemies. Yeah, I think this, I think this is actually the way we want to be playing this. Utilizing the fireballs to make sure we'd stay topped up on health, but overall, letting um letting our minions out to do some damage because we need the damage. Honestly, we do. Like, once we get about four or five of them, they, they seem to do a pretty good job as well, so... We shouldn't underestimate. It's gonna fly over. Damn. I did spawn a Revenant there, though, which is pretty useful. Okay, the Revenant's probably gonna do a decent job of killing stuff. We'll, we'll leave him to do his thing. I'm not gonna say it's gonna be perfect. But he might do us a good job. Damn it, the fireball just missed there. I'm wondering how he'll do against this other boss. Don't, dude, don't just stand on top of the boss and kill yourself, please. What did I just say? I kind of had a feeling he'd do that also. Bosses that just spawn an unfathomable amount of enemies can heck off right now. Okay, you died real quick, though. The Revenant did do a good amount of damage to you, at least. Right. Nothing I want on this floor, I'll be honest. Nothing I want. What on earth? Why do you spawn all the way, like, off kilter there? Also, stop spawning so many enemies. My god, there's not much we can do against it when you do this. It's bullshit. Luckily, he's only spawning one at a time rather than two or three. I know you can spawn up to three in one belch. So I'm glad it's one each time. 
At the time it was two, but we were okay. Angel deal could save us. That is a good angel deal. Although, without an uh, active item, it ain't so hot. So, down to the next floor. We need to get an active item if we can. Preferably one with reasonably low charge. Like a three charge would be quite good. You see what I mean? Planetariums are absolutely broken. Absolutely broken. It just, it just gives you one every single time. Grab that. Also, our shop is Fat Dookie again. Hey, we got an active item. Jesus juice. The more charges it has, the more fireworks it spawns. So we'll at least kill two or three waves off of one set of fireworks, I think. There's one frame of animation missing from those black tar heads, which is weird. Okay, I'm trying to use Venus as much as I can to deal some extra damage. It is pretty damn useful for doing that. I don't know if the charging goat head dude is too useful, to be honest. Oh, God, I didn't see you coming. Extra fireworks here. Ow, okay, I've lost a lot of health here. Let's be careful. Okay, these guys spawn more spiders and stuff. These are just kind of like hosts. They just spawn a lot of stuff. You have an extra heart there now. Not going to get a charge for the bosses, unfortunately. The charm works very nicely on those dudes, though. Thank you, Venus, for being free and easy. Okay, this is a recipe for uh, recipe for something interesting. Because they're both going to hit each other, right? Oh, no, you don't have the brimstone. You're not, you're not the brimstone version. I guess not, then. Still? Okay, no. There you go. We got some damage on one of them. This is the one we have to kill all the burns that are out, isn't it? The burns take forever to die. Ah, and they hit me really easily as well. God damn it. Okay, good. This shouldn't be too hard at all. Especially with Venus, actually. I think Venus means the spiders can't hit us at all. And it means the segments, if they get charmed, will hit each other. Oh no, they don't do damage to each other. Oh no, they do. What the hell? I'm co this is just confusing now. I think for the most part, I, I'm just kind of kind of sit this one out and let everything do do damage to itself. There will only be one spider left to remain. We get the rosary, which isn't great, but okay. And shop-wise, did we have anything that's worth buying? No. <laughs> Not at all. The D10 could be interesting interesting for our um, fireworks, but I'm not going to risk it. Seems like it could be cool, but at the same time, it could be terrible. Sticky bombs, amazing. Eye drops, hell yes. Really good. Fire it was pretty bad. Um, Satanic Charm. Praying, uh, pe sorry, paying for a devil deal grants a damage up. My stamina, take my stamina, can only gain 0 0.25. Fair. We'll tell you what is good. This. All shop items will act as if they are free. Picking up a shop item will remove one charge from this. Upon losing... All charges item will disappear. Does this work the way I think it does? That's one charge. Two charges. I kind of want to roll for a better item here. BFF isn't great, but I'll take it. It might help my little buddies. Hmm. I'd like to know if Nun's Habit works with this. Nun's 
not great stuff here, to be honest. Um, I'm just going to bomb this machine one more time. See if I can get something a little bit better. I'll take this with BFF. Why not? Kind of an interesting thing to get on a uh, read mode. This is good with the uh, the slightly faster charging because it's the same. It still has the same amount of charge, which means it should still spawn the same amount of um, fireworks. But we can get it charged a little quicker. I don't know what these enemies are. I've never seen these before. They're doing really poorly. This is what they're doing. There's a lot of them too. Holy hell. All we care about is our fireworks. The fireworks is such a good item. Really cool. Holy hell. Everything jumped on me at once then. Holy. Okay, we finally got hit. I was expecting it to come soon enough. Yeah, it does seem that BFF doesn't affect my little buddies, which is a shame. I was hoping it would. It does seem to affect my fireballs, though. My fireballs seem larger. I don't know if that means they do any more damage. Sussy boys. Ooh, they got a cool attack. Okay, ooh, they're still, they're still bouncing around. Excuse me, calm down. The charm is really not messing these guys about. I like the big bird. Okay, nice. Fireworks. It won't kill instantly, but they should do a good amount of damage. In fact, it, it very nearly did kill all of them, which I wasn't expecting, which is awesome. Very good, very nice. Right. To the boss wave. Oh, hello. You are looking mighty awesome, my, my good sir. I don't know the best way to fight you, but I'm just going to do this and stay head on. Honestly, losing some HP there might not be the worst thing. I think having some buddies to help me out might be great. I realize you're going to brimstone those little fellas soon, so I don't want them near me. Another angel deal here. Beautiful. Gimme, gimme. Oh, this is tricky. Um, I think we go with this. I think Hamlet Conversion, while potentially more laggy, is definitely more interesting for most runs. Wasn't expecting so many enemies here. It might make our uh, fireballs a little hard to hit, though. A little hard to kill with, at least. Because we might be killing stuff accidentally. We do have the corpse here. We have an arcade there. Lemon Mishap isn't really something we want. We've got Leftover Takeaway. That is... Seems to be an all stat, so very happy about. And then Thunder Thighs is a pretty big speed down for um, the ability to be stompy, which is pretty much useless for us. I think this is just Bomb City. Pretty useless all in all. And then shop wise, this is probably pretty good. The fire rate is pretty nice there. And double black heart is pretty nice too. There's, an, there's another black heart behind that dude as well, actually. Right. We threw a fortune at that guy. Some. Oh, I'm guessing that's something to do with the uh, all stats up item. Yeah, it is. It is. Okay. This is the item that's a bit funky. Where basically you just fire out fortunes like crazy and it means you can't fucking see anything. But it gives you a substantial all stats up. It's pretty bad. Like, it purposely makes it so you can't fucking see. It's an item that most of the time you don't want. It is a luck-based chance to fire the fortunes. So it's not... We're not always going to get, like, fortunes, but a lot of the time you will. And the amount that you can see bases on the length of the fortune that you get. Sometimes you get really short fortunes. Sometimes they're hella long. This is also a horrible wave. There's a lot of stuff going on. My god, if I don't get hit here, I'll be very surprised. I didn't. Wowee. Oh god. 
Oh god, oh god, oh god. This boss is essentially instant death if you don't, like, kill it before the next boss appears. But we're going to be trying very hard to do that. Because if he does that attack that he just did, while the other enemy's on the scene, you can say goodbye. Because that is, yeah, it's, it's really bad. Celtic Cross is saving us a little bit here. Legitimately cannot see. Oh, also, this attack as well is absolute horseshit. We've lost a lot of health already, as you can see. I think that this specific wave, like the corpse waves, are just absolutely savage. I think we're probably going to die here, to be honest. We have a lot of buddies out, but I, I, I just... This fortune thing, I just can't fucking see anything. It's such a bad item. Such a meme. We are producing an insane amount of fires, which I'm not quite sure why. But I'll accept it. Maybe the lower on HP you get, the more fires you produce. I do not know. What is with the terrible rolls on items here? Void bombs are pretty good. Damage in a black heart's pretty good here. Honestly, there's so many enemies on the scene that I think that's going to be pretty useful. Why not? That's going to be really strong. Oh, God. Fireworks, please do your thing. I'm hoping the fireworks charge it up. Because if they do, then we'll, we'll get a, a nice chain reaction going. Did that one say pot player? Goddamn game's a troll. Okay. I would say there is a, a very high likelihood that we die. And I'm going to attribute it mostly to the fortune cookie incident. But... Let's, uh, let's just play it like we're not going to die and hope for the best. Oh, if we can get red stew before going into the um, uh, the greed fight, that'd be really good. Basically, my hope is my active with 4.5 volt just carries the shit out of me. You're not too bad. Also, Celtic Cross ended up being a lot better than I expected it to be. Okay, we got some hands. Probably the, the stony hands. Yep. Is it just the one hand? Nope, two. I thought so. I really need to create some more health for myself at some point, but the only way I'm doing that right now is with my active. Okay, going reasonably well so far. I'm just trying to see through the, uh, the uh, fortunes and hope for the best. Seems to be working out somewhat okay, to be honest. You see, the damage we can put out with that is incredible. Right. Oh, it's you, hello. Is it two of you or is it one of you? I feel like it's probably two. No, uh, it's both bosses at once. It's the uh, boss from the cathedral and the boss from Shul. Which is pretty scary, to be honest, with our current HP setup. I really need my active to be ready. There you go. I got hit again. Oh no, I got hit again. Oh no. Do it. I'm trying to do it. Calm down. Holy. Holy potatoes. Damn it. What the hell's this? Oh, thank God I've got this dude saving me. Hey, we actually got a useful item out of that as well. Right. Red Stew. You can be my hero baby. 
And I think we go for a potential reroll for a 7 cent item. Or a black heart. Or marbles. Oh, really? Really? No extra pennies anywhere? Dance, son. Okay, I'll just take that then. I'll also take that as well. Right, let's get out of here. This has been quite something. Red Stew is going to carry us through this fight with the insane amount of damage it just gave us. Can't say anything. I'm hoping this, this statue dude saved me for a considerable amount of time. I'm hoping as well, because of the insane damage we've now got, we should be able to fill up our active really heckin' quickly. And keep it going for a while. Don't touch my statue, buddy. He's the only thing keeping me not getting hit right now. Not the keys. Not the keys. I think I managed to kill them all. You're getting too close to my buddy right here. Way too close to my buddy. No! Okay, he didn't die. Good. Dude, the coins again? I just told you about this. My lord. At least we're getting a considerable amount of eternal hearts. Don't you touch him. No, I can't believe you'd do this. I have a problem now. Because now I've only got like three or four hits until I die. I'm hoping the fireworks save me. I don't know what's going on with the multicolored angelic whatever it's called shots. They, they seem to be adopting the fireworks pattern, which is strange. One, one more hit and we, we go nuclear here. I'm, oh no. Okay, we want nuclear. We have one more hit remaining. This is not good. I repeat, not good. We do have a lot of buddies, which is real nice. But I don't think that's going to be the thing that saves us. Go, my little fellas. The rock formations. The bullshit. I've been hit so many times, I don't even know what's going on. I can't see anything. Mate, the rock formation is going to get me. I can't see anything. The rock formation. No. Balls. We died. Anyways, that was a lot of fun. Uh, yeah, that, that fortune cookie item is the hottest garbage I've ever seen. I want to be able to see. Stop it. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Nonetheless, that was all the fun. I'll see you guys in the next one.